All right, guys, what is up? Welcome back. I'm excited today because we're finally back with another ammo test. Now, this is one that I've been getting asked to test for a really long time, and we finally got some in this week. So the round we're testing is the 9mm Federal Premium Hydroshock Deep. Now, these were actually sent by a viewer who's also a patron, so not only do they support me on Patreon, but they also sent me this ammo, so I can't thank you enough. Uh, I really do appreciate it, and thanks to you, we get to make this video today. So, usually, I would divide this up into a few different videos, but I want to try to make just the ultimate ballistics gel test for the Hydroshock Deep and put a big spectrum of different kinds of tests in this video. So we got some hard barriers, some soft barriers, uh, some ballistic shell blocks, and we're gonna put this thing to the test and see how it does. Let's do it. All right, guys, I got my ballistic shell on the table down there, and we're gonna start with just a bare gel test, and we are using the 10% ballistic shell today uh, because on the box of this round, it says that it gets 15 inches of penetration in bare ballistic gel, and I'm assuming they mean 10% gel. So, by the way, if you're curious what the difference is between 10 and 20% gel, I'll try to link my video at the top of the screen here uh, discussing and showing the difference between 10 and 20 percent and you can go and check that out but the gun we're using for this video is the Springfield XDS and this is a like a subcompact frame but the slide and barrel almost look like it's in between a compact and a subcompact so I'm not really sure it's definitely a small carry gun which is what I wanted to use but it doesn't look like it's quite as small as like a Glock 43 or something like that so this is the gun we're using let's see how this round does in bare ballistics gel I got these soft North Face gloves on. I'm hoping this gun doesn't just fly out of my hand. <laughs> it's hard to get a grip on it. Recoil didn't feel bad at all. All right, there's the entrance hole from our first shot into the Bear Ballistics Jail. And over here, you can see the wound cavity in there. Uh, looks like it's probably a little bit bigger for the first five or six inches. Nothing huge. Um, pretty standard for a nine millimeter, I would say. And then it shrunk down and stayed the same size basically all the way down until it left our first gel block and went into our second gel block. And I don't know if you guys can see that, but right there, about two inches or an inch and a half into our second gel block is where that bullet came to a stop. And it does look like it definitely expanded. And over here, you can see the bullet just a little bit better in that second gel block. And it looks like on our tape measure that it stopped at about 17 and a half inches into our ballistics gel. So definitely a lot of penetration, and it looks like this first one performed really well. All right, next we're going to do the FBI heavy clothing test, which is a thin t-shirt layer, a thick t-shirt layer, a heavy fleece layer, and a denim layer, obviously to simulate clothing that a bad guy might be wearing. So let's see how the Hydroshock Deep does in the heavy clothing test. Smoking. <laughs> All right, so there's our entrance hole on the bottom right hand corner of that heavy clothing kit and then over here Once again, you can see the wound cavity in there And I don't know if you guys can see it because of the glare But the one through the heavy clothing is on the bottom and it's actually bigger and bigger further down Than the wound cavity in the bear gel So I uh, don't know if that really means anything But it is kind of interesting to point out and then the bullet continued down the gel block Also left our first gel block and I'm going to take you guys over here so that you can see it better and you can see that it actually stopped <laughs> kind of like halfway in and halfway out of that second ballistics gel block and it also looks like it fully expanded so these are 16 inch gel blocks so we don't really need to measure that one we know it went about 16 and a half inches into the ballistic gel uh, but i gotta say i'm kind of impressed on how similar that performed to the bear gel test usually this heavy clothing kit will dramatically change the results of the ballistic shell test, but the Hydroshock Deep looks like it performed almost identical in the bare gel and the heavy clothing test, so that's pretty cool. All right, guys, we're gonna do our first hard barrier now, and I think this will actually be the hardest test that we do today, but it's not quite as messy as the other hard barrier, so I'm gonna do this one first. But we have a really thick, really heavy piece of sheet metal, and you can see that I have shot bullets through this before in other videos. And I originally bought this to kind of simulate a car door. So like I said, it's super thick, super heavy, and super tough. So let's see how the Hydroshock Deep does through our thick piece of metal.
All right, so this is how I had our steel plate set up, and there is our entrance hole on the top left corner. And if I flip this over, you can actually see that it just peeled that steel back and just flattened it to the other side, which is something I've never seen before, so that's kind of cool. But there's our entrance hole on the top left corner of the ballistics gel block, and then going over here, uh, we can see the wound cavity. Now, obviously, it's not as big as the other two. You wouldn't expect it to be. It, you know, it took a lot of energy to get through that steel plate. But the bullet itself still penetrated really far into our ballistic shell. And you can see it all the way down here. And it actually went to the very end of that first gel block and then bounced back a couple inches. So you can see the bullet. Looks like it did kind of mushroom out a little bit. Um, I don't know if that's actually expansion in the gel block or it just flattened it when it went through the steel plate. But either way, a really impressive result going through that steel. So since that one went all the way to the end of the gel block and then bounced back a couple inches, we're actually gonna give it 16 inches of penetration. That's something that I learned from some of you guys. Even though the bullet bounced back a little bit, you do include the whole wound cavity. So 16 inches after going through that heavy piece of sheet metal is really impressive from a pistol round. So not too bad for the first hard barrier test. All right, the final barrier that we're gonna test this round in today is two layers of glass that I have duct taped together and I left a little piece of it open there so that you guys can see just how thick they are uh, when they're put together. So the duct tape is just to prevent it from shattering all over the gel and all over the property out here. Um, I learned that from one of you guys as well. But obviously this is not as thick as like a windshield or you know probably a car door or anything like that. It's as thick, but I would say it's probably not the same glass and not as strong. But when you put two of these together, it does make for a pretty tough barrier. And for a glass test, I think this is probably the best we can do. So let's see how it does. That's why I did that one last. <laughs> So it looks like I might have underestimated the strength of this glass. Uh, where I got it made me think that it was just weak and you know cheap and you know brittle stuff. Um, and I know some people will say the duct tape is probably what caused this, but I've wrapped glass in duct tape several times and not seen this result. But based off how this round did in the sheet metal test, it got more penetration in that than most hollow points that I've ever tested. So I think that this glass is a little bit stronger than the stuff that I usually get, and maybe I shouldn't have taped two layers together. But here is the entrance hole in the front of it right there you can see a little mess and then inside of our gel block you can see that it went in about six inches in that wound cavity there and then it bounced back all the way to about the one or two inch mark inside that gel block and the bullet is uh, pretty well flattened out so like I said I probably shouldn't have taped two layers of glass together but what we're gonna do is send another round into it and just pretend that it's a real-world situation where you shoot one round into the glass to break it and then you shoot another you know two or three into it afterward to stop the threat obviously you weren't just gonna shoot one round and stop so we'll send another one into this glass and see how the second one does all right glass take two I gotta say, I hate doing stuff like this to my brand new ballistic gel blocks, but I guess we gotta do it sometime. So here is our entrance hole from the second glass test, right there on the bottom, the very bottom left-hand corner underneath our first one. And then over here, you can clearly see that it still went through a humongous chunk of that glass. I mean, it's all over the gel. Inside the gel even, you can just see how much whiter those wound cavities are. W-H-I-T-E whiter. Um, they're just filled with shards of glass in there, which is always fun to clean. But the second one uh, did a lot more like I expected it to. It went about halfway down the gel block, dipped down dramatically, and you can see it kind of skimmed along the bottom there. Looks like it probably hit my table, and unfortunately the bullet's facing down, so I can't really see uh, what the expansion looks like, but the penetration is good, and you can see that it penetrated probably three quarters of the way into our ballistics gel block. And for the second attempt on the glass test, we got about 13 inches of penetration 
into our ballistic shell. So like I said, that's a little bit more uh, what I expected. And I hope nobody thinks that I'm doing that just to prove that this is like a good round. You know, I could care less how this round does, but I could just tell that it clearly wasn't a fair, you know, glass test because I've done a couple of these before and just comparing the steel test to the glass test, the results just didn't match up. And this round has been getting so much penetration in all the other tests that I think that that's a little bit stronger or, you know, just a thicker glass than what I usually get. So this result is a little more like it. And obviously if you're shooting a window or a windshield or something like that, you wouldn't do one shot and then stop. You're going to, you know, shoot, break it, shoot, 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 and you know, just go in until you need to. So that is a pretty good result and a pretty impressive bullet overall. So I got our bullets out of the gel block. I'm gonna to try to show you guys these really quickly. The first two here are the ones that we shot through the bear gel and the heavy clothing test. And you can see that they're pretty much identical. The bear gel might have expanded just a little bit more, but they look pretty much the same. And I gotta say, these are some weird looking bullets <laughs> with that little nipple thing they have that's poking out of the front. But again, they did do really well. They look just like the picture that's on the box. So both of those uh, did really well. Then we have the third one that we shot through the sheet metal test and it also definitely impressed me. You can see it mushroomed out a little bit and kind of polished the front end of that bullet, but it did get a lot of penetration. And then we have the two that we shot through the glass. The first one obviously just completely mangled that bullet. Uh, there's not much of the jacket left. It's just a, a big wad of lead and it didn't penetrate very well, but it did stay intact. None of these bullets broke apart at all, which is impressive. And then the fifth one that we shot was the second glass test. And obviously it also deformed a little bit but not nearly as bad as the first one and it also stayed intact and got a lot of penetration as well all right guys that is going to do it for me today thank you all for watching i hope you enjoyed the video i'm sick if you can't tell so i'm going to go ahead and wrap this up and head back inside i just can't stop doing videos even though i'm sick and it's 40 degrees out here i just can't stop coming out so <laughs> i'm probably going to be sick all winter long because i'm an idiot but I don't know, it's like an addiction that I have. I just can't stop. So I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Uh, thank you so much to the viewer who sent this box of ammo for me to test. It's really helped me out a lot. Like I said, not only are they a Patreon supporter, but they're also, you know, they sent me ammo. So just overwhelming support like I get from so many of you guys and I really can't thank you enough but I'm impressed with the Hydroshock Deep let me know how you guys feel about it I have a few more video ideas with this as well um, they actually wanted me to speak on how I feel about it compared to the Hornady Critical Duty but I thought I would just make a whole video comparing the two and maybe do some more tests and you know just kind of do a head-to-head -head with the Critical Duty versus the Hydroshock Deep since they both are deep penetrators and um, you know got really good reputation so I think that's about it guys like I said, I like it. Um, for those of you who like deep penetration, there's so many innuendos in this outro right now. <laughs> um, for those of you who like deep penetration, you probably would definitely like this round. Like I said, it compared to the other tests that I've done similar to this with other hollow points, this one did very well, very well. So let me know how you guys feel about it. Uh, let me know in the comments if you like this video. If you'd like to help support the channel, as always, you can visit my Patreon in the description box below. I would really appreciate it. Thank you all for watching. If you like the video, smash like. I would really appreciate that as well. And I'll see you guys next time.